Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Srivastava and today I am with another video. So in today's video we will understand what is the difference between count star and count one. So this is also one of the most mostly asked interview questions. Okay, so let's start. Suppose we have a table called employee and in, in employee table we have say eight records. Okay, you can see. So and the columns we have in this table is employee ID, employee name, department and salary. So for the sake of understanding I intentionally kept couple of columns as null. So in employee ID we have one column as null. In employee name I have kept one column as null and in department I have kept two columns as null and in salary also I kept two columns as null. So we will check the difference between count star, count one, count minus one and different values of count okay so let's jump to SQL so this is the table we have so employee table in which we have data like this okay so now so let's jump and see what exactly the difference between count star and count one so let's select count star as count star comma count one as count one from EMP right see there is no difference between count star and count one we are getting equal number of equal number right in uh, both the outputs correct see we have eight columns uh, eight rows sorry and we are getting eight for both count one as well as count star now what happened when we go for counting the total number of records in different column right now let's say I'm checking for count of employee ID okay EMP ID column as count EMP ID so what will be the output can anybody guess okay let's see we executed this code and see what is the output we are getting 8 in both count star as well as in count 1 but 7 in count employee ID do you know why it is because we have one null in this employee ID column right so what is the difference here so when we go for count star or count one it will give the complete set of record count right but when we go for individual count it will give us only those records which are not null right so let's say I am going for count of EMP name right as count of EMP name so what will be the output as we have one null here so it will again give us seven right count employee seven now we have two nulls in department as well as in salary column right so let's see what is the output it coming count of count of DEPT as count dpt comma count of salary as count salary okay so now we have two different nulls so output should be six six right for salary as well as department so let's execute this see we have six and six so what what is the actual difference here so when we go for count star it will give us the total count of records in a table even if if we we are going for any count one or any other number right like count two count three it will always give us the total number of records right but if we go for count and specify the column name it will give us the total count of those records which are not null right so let's see what is the output when we go for say count 
let's say for we are going for count three right as count three right see we are getting eight but we have some interesting things as well let's execute what will be the output when we go for count zero or say count hundred right let's execute that what will be the output if we are giving yeah, as count zero right count zero and count of hundred as count hundred okay let's see see even if we are going giving count zero it is giving me the total number of records that is eight even in case of hundred it is giving eight right now one more interesting thing what will be the output if we are giving count as minus one count as minus one let's see minus one what what is the output if you have any guess please pause the video and write your output in the comment box so let's execute it wow it is giving me 8 so that means if any numerical number is being used with count it will give me the total number of record irrespective of nulls but if we are using count with the column name specifically it will give me the count of only not null records correct thank you for watching the video please like subscribe and share thank you